Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Ijira Naidi Nagataro-san, episode number two. All right, the first episode, it was a great start. The pacing was quite nice. It was not rushing or anything. The animation was beyond something that I expected and I really appreciate it, especially for this manga. And yeah, overall it was amazing. Like I had a certain expectation and it went beyond that and i'm really glad that this like you know this show or this manga adaptation is getting the quality it deserves like the story is really nice and cute i really love the story and like for like newcomers who are not accustomed to this i'm sure a few people will you know um get a little bit um uncomfortable and mad at the whole thing of nagatoro bullying senpai and bullying him almost to tears but give it a bit of time you know a few episodes and you'll see how this story like you know changes and it changes in a very wholesome and good direction and that's what i'm waiting for so yeah like um i'm quite excited and uh, i cannot remember as i've said before in the previous episode i read the first few ch chapters of the manga but it was quite a while ago so i don't remember it so yeah like this is basically um what can i say like i know that's why i'm able to tell you guys that like just give it a bit of time because as i've read it i've seen how it changes and the whole like and senpai also kind of not mans up but like he changes his personality also changes like as the episodes go on he'll be less less nervous and like you know he will not uh, like cry at like a drop of a hat so yeah like, like basically he'll get used to her bullying and then, <laughs> then the like you know uh, fun starts like when like okay like i'm not going to say anything uh, let's just uh, wait for it so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with ichiro uh, naite nagatoro san episode number 2 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown 3 2 1 go He really sketches well, I have to say. Ha! <laughs> that shit! <laughs> oh my god, she's making a whirlwind! <laughs> Look at her hands! <laughs> <laughs> that's how the manga you know uh, sketch is drawn her hands and everything and i'm really glad that they kept it in that way <laughs> you know the uh, what do you call it the octopus hands <laughs> the opening is also really catchy um i was not expecting this you know especially the opening <laughs> okay. <laughs> and here it is. Okay, this 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 section of the opening. All right, let's see what this episode <laughs> brings. <laughs> like, how will she bully him in this episode? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you got your wish, Senpai. 
What does he? Is he still sketching? Oh no, he's eating. What? Why is it so dark? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> why is it so dark? Is it cloudy? That's why. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Girls don't eat yakisoba? What? <laughs> she, she noticed. <laughs> oh no! Don't drop it! Oh! <laughs> okay, he didn't even need to drop it. Oh god! <laughs> okay, that's a bait. That's a big bait. And there you go. Well. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> yeah yeah he's using that as a reference you know oh and that as well we're here for the plot you know the plot <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he, is he reading to Tolabru da Darkness or something? You know Tolabru? Like... What was his name, the main characters? I forgot. Uh, vampire Story. Oh, it's not Tolabru. Okay, I was thinking something like that. Oh, damn! What the hell? Um, that went became dark suddenly. <clears> hmm. <throat> well, it does have a plot. <laughs> oh. That's all. Oh! One of the side characters or the mob characters. <laughs> oh no, she's drinking tomato juice. <laughs> mm. Why? Oh my god. Wait. Is that so? I don't know. Or is she like making stuff up? <sighs> um. Oh, what the hell? The power went off?
Oh, that face! <laughs> um. <laughs> Run. Pretending. Oh. Oh my god, what the? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well. Oh my god. Um, okay. Oh! Garlic? Is it garlic? <laughs> yeah, garlic! <laughs> garlic saved him. <laughs> Just like a vampire. Like, for a vampire. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's awkward. What? <laughs> this is reverse. Oh no. <laughs> okay. The way she copes with her embarrassment is by attacking. <laughs> okay, well, this is this is outside. Um okay. Well, Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> that, that went well. Oh my god, what is this? Some kind of a spin-off manga? <laughs> Senpai becomes a zombie? Alright, oh, let's see. Sup, Senpai. <clears throat> <laughs> Game? Oh no. <laughs> what kind of game is this? <laughs> okay.
Nie. There is. What the? Okay. <laughs> For only one time? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Oh my god, what is... Oh no. Um... Hunt? What? What is this? Oh! <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> she's, she's trying to get the bullseye. <laughs> Damn, she she's a master marksman. That means oh, two 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 arrows at the same time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> Self reported. <laughs> oh god oh god <laughs> well you, you lose Oh, it's still going? What? <laughs> okay. Oh no. I, I doubt he can do it. Okay. <laughs> As I said before, her defense is extremely low. Oh. Well, then, there it goes. <coughs> mm, okay. <coughs> no, this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. They don't, don't even have faces. <clears throat> Side characters or mob characters. <clears throat> Yabaki. What?
<laughs> she doesn't date. Give a damn. Oh, is that so? Oh, damn, this guy's... <clears throat> nah, I don't think she's going to do that because... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. <clears throat> oh, is that so? This is pretty awkward for the f like first time a conversation what the hell is wrong with these guys <clears throat> yeah i was saying saying that These two guys need to get their common sense checked. Like, yeah. They don't even have faces, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> Squiggly. <laughs> Look at the animation. Beautiful. Nanny. Squiggling. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, that was. Okay, this is the first time we're hearing the ending song. It's a nice ending song and the color the way they're doing the color is also uh like quite unique as well like you know the they were only using two colors as five and see 
yeah main two colors like in each panel <coughs> okay this is a nice ending song is <coughs> Obviously, it's not like the opening, like op the opening is so like what can I say, kind of like rock type of a song, but the ending song is like nice and <coughs> calm and quiet and all, <coughs> which is usually what you know, anime openings and endings are like the opening is <coughs> kind of like hypes you up and the ending kind of okay, that's the end. Alright, so yeah, that was the end of this episode. Okay, one thing that I really want to check out is which studio is animating this. Um, just a sec, let me just check it because I'm really curious. Like the animation is really nice. Um, which studio? King Records. Oh, okay. I'm I'm not so sure with. Okay, it has done a few animations, I can see. King Records, yeah. Oh, Shaman King is also, uh, King Records is also doing Shaman King. Uh, this, the, the new Shaman King. Okay. Alright, so, the animation is really, like, really nice. I am really, like, impressed with the animation. Uh, the animation, the visuals and everything. Okay, so excuse me so this episode this was episode number two now <clears throat> one thing that obviously like i'm sure <clears throat> god damn it uh one thing everyone can like understand <laughs> understand is like um she, she is like what can i say like she's like uh um what do you call it like an attacker like you know like she like she attacks people but when, <laughs> when it's time for her to get attacked she's extremely weak like her defense is low so <laughs> that's why like in the first section of the um what do you call it um uh the first section of the anime uh, the episode uh she was like you know like doing like oh like i'm going to like you know like the whole like uh the game that she was doing and uh when her turn ended <laughs> she herself was scared of like you know senpai doing the same thing to her which obviously like which is pretty like normal like uh but like when she was like but she was like trying to act tough and all so yeah like you can probably see the change in the what can i say uh the how the episode is going like in the first uh episode how it went and in the second episode how uh, like it's changing the whole like atmosphere the whole like you know like the whole thing like um the surroundings and how she is acting and everything is changing like she'll get like uh, she'll get a lot more what can i say like less brutal as the time goes on and yeah that's what this is about and like senpai at the same time will also um gain resistance <laughs> to this whole thing and she he's also like probably going to like you know um get comfortable uh talking with other people and everything like her uh, like his uh shyness uh not shyness but her his yeah you can call it shyness his shyness and his um reluctancy to uh you know interact with other people will kind of change obviously like he'll not be like not become like nagatoro like you know like trying like going and messing around with people he will not become like that but it will change like you know his character will will his personality will change as time goes on so <clears throat> yeah and um <clears throat> another thing that we can um like you know observe from this episode is uh, from the later part of the episode where like you know nagatoro like and like uh, her friend goes to the what was that a diner or a cafe uh, i think it's, it was a diner wasn't it yeah uh, they go to there and like there's these two <laughs> mob characters uh who like you know were trying to act smart and like uh, senpai was saying that oh like you don't know her like she's going to you know like bully the hell out of you and you'll go back home crying just like me 
But I, Nagato didn't give a damn. Now here's one thing. Uh, you know, there's a thing uh, which is like, you know, if you are really do not care about something, you won't show any emotion towards that thing. Like, you know, the reason why Nagato bullies Senpai is because like there like she feels something that be that positive or negative that's not the point she feels something if she really like didn't give a damn about something she wouldn't just care she would have left it alone like not only her like everyone like that's human beings nature like either you hate someone or you love someone like uh it's like the two sides of a coin now both are some kind of an emotion and if you feel something for a particular person that's better than extremely like keeping him or her at a neutral like you know stance because if a person feeling towards a person uh, is neutral that means you don't care about anything like you don't care about him or her which is i think a lot <clears throat> what can i say mm, nah, it depends you know it depends uh, like i was going to say like which is a lot worse than like you know uh, you know like uh, hating or liking someone but uh, it depends in a way because you know like there are people who act really like bully people you know like extremely badly and which usually goes uh, in a completely wrong direction and it like it might hurt others as well uh, emotionally and uh, like emotionally and <clears throat> physically so I'm not going to say like oh like <clears throat> having neutral like you know looking at someone as a neutral in a neutral perspective is worse than uh, like you know hating him or her i won't say that but it depends like in in this uh, like anime uh, we can see that in a way because in this anime like it's not that nagatoro hates senpai it's just she likes messing with him so <clears throat> that emotion or that uh, yeah emotion is directed towards senpai but to people who she really doesn't care she just like you know like doesn't even interact with them properly like ignores them uh, whereas uh, her friends like you know the, the other girl that was here in this episode uh, she's friendly with her so like when she came she was saying that why the hell did you like bring them here and like don't do like you know don't do stuff like that and I was kind of like <clears throat> grinding her head and everything like that was like a, a positive feeling towards her so like the thing that she does is like she <clears throat> Like to a senpai, uh, she tries to mess with him, which is kind of like a positive emotion, at least for her. And <clears throat> for her friends, obviously, it's a positive emotion. For these two guys, it was kind of a neutral, nonchalant approach. Approach, and she really didn't care about them. So she was like, yeah, like who even cares? So yeah, that was it. Like uh, that was what I was trying to say. Like, <clears throat> like the re like if the positive or let it be positive or be negative. An emotion is an emotion which you direct towards someone uh, being neutral towards someone is I think a lot what can I say uh, it depends but it's a lot more like I don't care about that person kind of thing like you know which is um, I don't know like as I said like it depends like sometimes like this whole bullying thing kind of goes in a completely different direction in a more sinister direction which I like which nobody wants to like which I'm, I'm sure like nobody wants something like that to happen to him or her but you know like human emotions is a weird thing i think i've seen another anime like this you know um not this but uh the whole thing with bullying like comes up uh, I, I cannot remember what i think it was kiznaivar I, I cannot remember the name um there was like a whole thing where a guy was bullied like you know constantly and like <clears throat> The people who are bullying him, I can't remember, it's been a long while I've seen it. Uh, the people who are bullying him, like, you know, when, like, he used to kind of, like, get mad at them and all. They were, like, having fun, like, uh, laughing and everything. And bullying him again and again and again. And, like, it was escalating and all. And he was, like, getting mad at them again. And they were laughing at his expense and all. That was happening. Then, like, there comes another guy who does not show his emotions at all. You know, like he, he doesn't even feel anything about anything. So when those bullies tried to bully him, he was like, just like, you know, stoic. And not, like bullying him constantly, he was like, oh, is that so? And like, you know, throwing his stuff away, he was just going and picking it up. Not like responding, not saying anything, just like that. 
and these bullies like were f uh, uh, first was, was trying to like uh, like you know trying to uh, annoy him then as time went on when they saw that oh my god this guy is not even responding and like doing anything they got tired of it they were like ah oh, leave him alone like he's like a creepy dude like he doesn't care and like they went away so that was it like whatever people do like whenever a person does something to a person be that a positive emotion and a negative emotion if the other person like you know like like reacts to it in some way like like the person who is doing that they will like you know kind of understand that oh like he is like whatever i'm doing he's getting mad at it or he's liking it so they will try to do it more to you you know and this it's like a whole like give and take thing like you give something a person takes it and like he give, returns it back if you give something and that person doesn't even care like you, you'll forget about him for like you know after uh, quite a while and like you'll be like oh my god like nothing happens whenever i do something to him let's just go away so this is the main thing and uh, this is the, like the weird thing about like you know the hate and love like it's like two like you know two uh, parts of the coin two sides of the coin and same with nagatoro like she like does weird stuff like we can see obviously like the way she tries to uh, like you know like messes with senpai and all that's not because she you know does not like him or like likes to bully him or something yeah she kind of likes to bully him but like that's just because she wants to mess with him and like you know she wants to see what emotions the other person shows like that's the main thing like people do stuff to others so that they can show their emotions to others if someone does not even like care about you she she or he won't like show any kind of emotion just like nagatoro did not show any kind of emotion when they were like you know those those, those two two male male characters male mob characters were trying so hard to like <laughs> you know like like acting tough and everything and she was like oh like is, is, is it like when they were like listening to the song she was like oh is this the song oh my god like i, I feel like you didn't even try <laughs> and he goes back and then the other guy come, comes and like he starts saying stuff which you definitely should not say to someone when like you know when the other person is a stranger you've met someone for the first time you should definitely not do that you'll be arrested thankfully he did not get arrested but <laughs> you know and like and she said that like is this something that you you you, you say to someone when you met him or her for the first time <laughs> oh my god like that was something and senpai was like uh, <laughs> like senpai was uh, like you know um surprised with that but anyways so yeah that's basically it nagatoro is like that like she she messes with uh, senpai because she likes it and she likes uh, you know watching like senpai's reaction um <laughs> now if like you know if senpai like okay like let me just say some like you know uh, take this in a different direction uh, for example in the first episode obviously we see like he she messed with senpai and senpai like was like you know flustered and like showing so many emotions and all like you know everything and nagatoro like as i said before nagatoro <laughs> like after seeing uh, like senpai's like the way she he was acting reacting to it and his emotions uh she found it funny and she wanted to do it more and that's why like she's messing with him if like if by any chance um uh, senpai was like a stoic type of a person he didn't care about anything nagatoro came in and started bullying him and senpai was like oh like okay like um like like you know like nonchalant about anything <laughs> Nagatoro would have tried to do it a few times she would have gotten tired and she would have left and that would have been the end of the manga <laughs> that like the manga would have ended in the first chapter only <laughs> so, <laughs> why is this manga like you know going on because senpai is so in showing his emotions and that's what keeping Nagatoro like you know engaged in this whole like thing and yeah and uh, <laughs> so yeah that was it um well <clears throat> as, uh, as i said like this was really like obviously like, this was a good episode and we see how like nagatoro's like we, we like we can kind of see like how nagatoro's emotions are and how it's 
changing kind of not changing but how is it different from how what he she feels towards other people and what like you know so why is like she like messing with senpai what is special about him we can kind of understand for like looking at this episode and yeah the main thing is because senpai reacts to it because senpai is like showing emotions towards whatever like she does she, like he reacts to it that's why like nagato like like messes with him to like you know like to see what senpai does you know that's the main thing so yeah like mm, this will kind of uh, I, I like I, like change as time goes on like if, as far as i can remember there are few times when nagato tries to go on the defensive <laughs> but she cannot as i said like she is quite like you know like her defensive power is quite low and her offensive power is extremely aggressive so like either she like she just jumps into something and whenever like it, like something changes and it's time for her to be attacked her defensive power is so low that she like you know like like fumbles and all and <laughs> like I'm, i'm looking forward to those episodes so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was uh ijira naide narato san episode number two so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of ichiranai de nagatoro-san so until then goodbye and have a nice day